The NetApp Certified Data Administrator ONTAP certification is a significant benchmark for validating your skills and expertise that can boost your career prospects. To earn this certification, you must pass the NS0 to 163 exam successfully. KillTest has updated the NS0 to 163 practice test with essential exam topics. Offering you real NS0 to 163 exam questions and answers to help you pass the NetApp Certified Data Administrator ONTAP certification exam on your first attempt. Choose the updated NS0 to 163 practice test to prepare for your exam. The NetApp Certified Data Administrator ONTAP NS0 to 163 exam will test your ability to administer NetApp ONTAP solutions. You should have 6 to 12 months of experience with NetApp ONTAP solutions, including configuration, storage administration, and data management. Additionally, you must choose the updated NS0 to 163 practice test to prepare for your exam. KillTest offers a comprehensive selection of NS0 to 163 exam questions and answers that are tailored to meet your study needs. The NS0 to 163 practice test from KillTest provides a secure and straightforward study guide, allowing you to prepare efficiently. Learning the NS0 to 163 free exam questions before downloading the NS0 to 163 practice test. KillTest provides NS0 to 163 practice test that covers all the essential topics and question types you will encounter in the NetApp Certified Data Administrator ONTAP exam. The updated NS0 to 163 practice test is designed to provide you with a clear understanding of the exam structure and the types of questions that may be asked. By studying the NS0 to 163 practice test, you can gain valuable insights into the exam process, ensuring you don't miss any crucial marks. Before downloading the NS0 to 163 practice test, you can learn the NS0 to 163 free exam questions first. 1. When creating an S3 bucket using System Manager, ONTAP uses which default performance service level for an AFF? A. Extreme B. Value C. Custom D performance. Answer. A. 2. The snap vault snap shed x command can be used to A. Schedule full backups. B. Start initial backups. C. Schedule incremental backups. D. Specify platforms that can be backed up. Answer. C. 3. Which one of the following is not a prerequisite for using Snap Restore? A. You must enter the Snap Restore license code before you can use it. B. Snapshots must exist on the storage appliance so that you can select a snapshot for the reversion. C. The volume to be reverted must be offline. D. The volume to be reverted must not be a snap mirror destination. Answer. C. 4. Which two conditions would prevent an ONTAP upgrade? A. Established ISCSI sessions. B. Offline volume. C. Failed disk. D. Offline leaf. E. Established NFS sessions. Answer. B. C. 5. To restore a primary snap vault queue tree to the exact queue tree location on the primary storage system, from which it was backed up, you must A. Add the new queue tree to the primary storage system. 
b. Restore to a non-existing q tree. c. Overwrite the existing q tree on the primary storage system. d. Delete the existing q tree from the secondary storage system. Answer. b. 6. Which one of the following is not a prerequisite for using Snap Restore? A. You must enter the Snap Restore license code before you can use it. B. Snapshots must exist on the storage appliance so that you can select a snapshot for the reversion. C. The volume to be reverted must be offline. D. The volume to be reverted must not be a snap mirror destination. Answer. C. 7. What two actions occur automatically if the system detects ransomware activity when autonomous ransomware protection is enabled? A. Block user access. B. Email the administrators. C. Create a new snapshot. D. Offline the suspicious volume. Answer. B. C. 8. Which two default HA features work together to reduce and avoid client outages on an ONTAP FAS cluster? A. Automatic SAN leaf migration. B. Automatic failover. C. Automatic giveback. D. Automatic takeover. Answer. C. D. 9. Which one of the following statements apply to the free space estimator utility? A. This utility determines if there is sufficient space on the secondary volume to perform a transfer. B. This utility determines if there is sufficient disk space available on the primary to perform an OSSV transfer. C. This utility run automatically after each transfer. D. This utility must be enabled on the secondary storage system. Answer. B. 10. Which command allows you to access the other nodes console after a takeover has occurred? A. Toggle. B. Switch. C. Partner. D. Takeover. Answer. C.